Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda. We got three loads of gravel, um, not gravel, but crusher run. We started with one. We liked the looks of it. And then we decided to get another one. And then we knew we couldn't cover everything we wanted to, so we got a third. Now, I know over in this area, we're never going to be able to keep it just clean and good because of all the things that go on over here near the barn. But it will help, hopefully, with a lot of the uh, uh, muddiness that we have in the spring. We have put some down before, so it's something you can't just do once. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning or so. Well, probably not even that, but it's such a glorious morning with the morning light. We got some more rain yesterday. Expecting more rain today. So haying's not going yet. We're still waiting for a good stretch of weather. But we've been trying to get as much done as we possibly can. Jim has gotten his pastures clipped, and I don't think I've ever seen him get them clipped this early, all of them. So that is one good thing. Hopefully that will cut, up, cut down on some weeds. Maybe get those thistles down before they can get so big and so bad. Boy, this really looks nice. Really nice. I was commenting to Jim this morning when I was brushing the horses that they, especially the Percherons, were so shiny. And he said that's because yesterday afternoon they were out in the rain for a while. And he said the rainwater makes them so shiny. And even though Buck's an old geezer, he uh, still shines up really nice. The apples are coming well on the trees. How can you lose Jim and a team of horses? 
I don't know. I thought he said he was coming around one more time, but I think he said one minute because he's hooking on to the roller. And I'm not sure where the roller is, but they're so quiet this morning. I can't even, I can't even find them. There they are. He's dropping off the spring tooth harrow first. I literally lost you. I thought you said one more time and you said one minute, I think, is what you meant when you went like that. Oh. Oh, wrong, wrong finger. Anyways, I couldn't find you. You're so quiet this morning. You're not gonna be in a minute. Back. 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 Guess this will be one way to get some hay down. Jim told me to get a rake, one of those little plastic rakes that, just a little small one um, to help scoop up poop off the driveway because that's always a problem between our horses and the Amish that stop by. It gets to be an issue sometimes, so I think I am going to do that. Once we got this done, Jim headed off to clip some pastures. I just came down to see how Jim's doing, and he's all done. We got this field mowed. This is the, um, the one that's a pasture that he mowed a third of, and he used um, Bill and Buck. And he had his share of problems this morning with the mower. Don't ask me exactly what they were, but he got that fixed. And after lunch, he's had much better luck and got this all done. I thought I'd just show you over here the first section that he did a few weeks ago. It's coming back. And the cows have been out here a lot but it's come back nice and green. There's still plenty here to eat. 
and um, so they'll have a lot more even even so he's gonna go up and mow another pasture piece now but he's gonna change horses these two have had enough work for today well I believe Jim's on his last pasture mowing for the year actually and it's so strange because it's happening before he's able to do hardly any haying so this is the last little piece he thought he was all done and he remembered he had this piece and here's a there's the cows from last year the cows from last year all hanging out and um, just down here is where he is he's got lady and Ken if you look here you can see how wet it still is it just keeps on we're getting more rain today I think but I know some of you guys are dry from what you've said and even not far from here they're not getting that much rain we just happen to be in the rain belt right now a lot of this grass right here is already um, kind of going by so when he clips it I think the cows are going to like it a lot more and I think he's going to bring the colts and Baron down here again at, um, in the in just a little bit Buttercup. Does he just have a, he just has a snap and no mm. rope. <laughs> What's going on, Buck? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, hey, hey. Back it up, Buck. Back it up. Back it up before you get kicked in the head and get in your stall. Okay. 
feels like rain's coming in again. It's cooled off. It was so hot today. It's cooling off. Here they come, but had to do a little. Come on, boys. Look at the three musketeers. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. First, second, and third. Who's who? Come on, guys. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Baron hey. wants hey. to take a stop at the barn. Come on. Come here. Well, that didn't work so well. Oh, well, it's a good idea. It was going great for a while. Get her. Get her. Get her. Come on, you little hothead. Let's Hello. go. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Duke. Oh, come on. Come on, Dookie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so all we're doing is moving the colts into a different pasture. My plans didn't go quite as I had hoped for today. I had brought these horses, or we had brought these horses over the other day to get them out of the pasture that they were in so I could finish clipping that. And I was hoping to get that all done even by noon this morning. And then I had the breakdowns with the mow machine, so that didn't happen. And then I was <coughs> hoping to actually hitch up, um, put a harness on Baron and drive him around the driveway and see how he did. And that didn't happen either. So hopefully, maybe, no promises, but maybe on our next video, we will show you our first attempt to put a harness on Baron and to drive him single around the driveway. Well, here we, here we are at our hen house. Um, one of these days I'm gonna paint it, and, but um, Jim and our neighbor Put it together and we did it and it turned out pretty good i think i'm pretty happy with it i could spend so much time in here with the chicks i love them so much and since they've been in here um they're so happy i put the um, guineas and the chickens together and i was a little worried at first but they really seem to be happy together and um they flit around and fly and jump and play and they're growing every day so much and I could just I do spend too much time in here just looking at them it's it's more fun than watching TV watching the chickens why don't you tell people that don't know chickens what's the difference between uh, different birds so we've got two different kind of laying hens we got rhode island reds and i'm not sure what the black ones are to be honest with you but um then those are the bigger birds these right here are, are laying hens and then we have 
we had all kinds of problems with our guineas. So we have one guinea from our first batch. Most all of them died within 24 hours of um, getting here. So they gave us some, some more. And so those little ones over there together are the, uh, the guineas. And they are more wild birds and they're harder to tame, but they're supposed to eat insects like crazy. So eventually they're gonna be, I'm gonna keep them all in for a little while. And I do have a day pen, I put them out sometimes, but um, the guineas, I want them to get used to this being their home and then we can let them out and hopefully they'll come back because they, they are like to um, roost in trees and stuff. So I don't know, I hope we can get them to come in here at night and stay in here. They definitely, they're blending more, but they still, all stay together in their groups. And this skinny right here, Constantine, the gray one, I, he thinks he's a chicken, he or she, I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see what happens in the end. So the light is um, just to keep them warm at night. They don't need it so much. At first it was very crucial, but now it just makes them more comfortable. And I, I've peeked in the window and they like to roost on here. Some of them stay under the light. Just depends on how cold it is. But they're, they're just so fun to watch. Sometimes they just like go flying and chasing across the, um, the room and it's really fun to watch them. So thanks for coming along with us. I hope you really enjoyed the video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing our chickens. Our turkeys eggs have not hatched at this point. I don't know if they're going to, they're under the light, but are the conditions what they need? Not positive, you know, to make it perfect. So it was a long shot. As of now, we're turning them uh, twice a day and they're under the light in the uh, dry kiln. And um, I know this is working horses with Jim, but I hope you're enjoying the chickens and we'll keep you updated on how they're doing. Thanks for coming today.